Well, continuing with our look at grains on this week's program, a new grain sorghum variety coupled with a new herbicide could help farmers control grassy weeds in their fields. And weeds can consume vital nutrients needed for optimum growth. So farmers are always on the lookout for new varieties of both crops and crop protection products. But despite this potentially good news for Milo farmers, there's an insect out there that could damage this year's sorghum crop. Toby Blanchard has our story. A new non-genetically modified grain sorghum variety contains a trait that will allow farmers to control Johnson grass in their sorghum fields. Weed scientist Daniel Stevenson said this is a first. Grasses are hard to control in sorghum because they are so closely related to the crop. The main problem in grain sorghum is not just Johnson grass, but it's general grass control. We can control the broad leaves with an atrazine application, but overall grass control is difficult. Stevenson said farmers will be able to grow this variety and use a new herbicide zest to control grassy weeds. His preliminary tests have shown positive results. And I can successfully grow grain sorghum amongst an extreme population of Johnson grass. While this is good news for sorghum growers, an insect infesting sorghum fields is not. The sugarcane aphid began showing up in sorghum for the first time last year. An entomologist, Julian Buzelin, said this year's outbreak is worse. The sugarcane aphid can actually build up very high populations and can potentially wipe out the crop if not controlled, or even if they come in late in the, in the, in the season and they don't threaten yield, actually they can cause uh, some uh, harvestability issues. Louisiana farmers can control the aphids with the pesticide Transform. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center.